This video demonstrates how to avoid blocking the user interface in your iOS app by opening the Cordata stack asynchronously. This may become an issue for you if your users have a large amount of data and you, you release a new version of the app that requires the store to be upgraded. Now, the upgrade process may take a considerable amount of time and if you're using the standard app, Apple app template, uh, this upgrade takes place when the Cordata stack is initialized, which will be uh, in the did finish launching with options method of the app delegate, which will result in you know, the user interface blocking and the application being unresponsive. So to avoid this problem and the risk that the user or the operating system will terminate the unresponsive application, we'll demonstrate creating the core data stack on a background thread. Note that we're not going to create the manage object context on the background thread, just adding the store to the persistent store called coordinator, which will which is what will trigger an upgrade to take place. So to simulate the delay caused by the upgrade, we, we were just call it, calling the sleep function to pause the thread for 15 seconds. So in the demo app, we've got a call to sleep within the application did finish launching with options method to simulate what would happen if you didn't open the core data stack in the background thread and you'll see the application launch screen then becomes unresponsive for the entire duration. Um, also in the code, we've got a call to sleep for 15 seconds. In the actual asynchronous in the background thread that's going to add the store to the persistent store coordinator in the um, coordinator stack manager. So that's the open persistent store method. Just notice that in the app delegate uh, did finish launching with options method that I've commented out setting the manage object context on the master view controller. Uh, this will get set when the asynchronous loading of the core data stack completes. So we're not going to be setting it now. Right, uh, we'll run the app and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I've just uh, launched the app. It's just busy building it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the app running in the simulator and you can see we've started the long job, 15 seconds, and we've got the launch screen and doesn't matter what I do, it's not responsive. So, Okay, so that uh, initial 15 seconds completed and now we're sleeping for 15 seconds after, after we've added the persistent store. And you can see there's a visual feedback to the user that we're busy loading things. Run that again and launch the app and we've now got the launch screen showing. Had we been opening the stack then the screen would be blocked while if, if there was a long store migration required. Okay, now we're back to the normal screen and we're still opening the core data stack asynchronously, but you can see the user interface is uh, interactive, even though we've prevent the user from clicking on a row and going to the detail view. So once the core data stack's loaded, then we send a notification to update the user interface and the rows become enabled so the user can click on them to go to the detail screens. So if you look at the code, you'll see there's a few differences. Um, we have a separate call to open up the Cordata stack. Um, and once the stack's open, then we notify the user interface and set the manage object context. So you'll need to look at the code to figure out the differences and see whether that'll suit your needs.